Well, hello and happy Friday. I was going to originally do an unboxing video today, um, but my boxes seem to be delayed. So I'm gonna do a what sold yesterday video and this video is boring. Um, but I'll say it's a very good sampling of what it's like for a regular resale day, like the kind of stuff that we sell on any given day. There was no special sale, no closet clear out on this or anything. This is just the random stuff that's sold, but there is a little bit of a hint at what is selling if you pay attention. So I'm gonna start first with hand row. This is a just a basic tank. Um, I had it listed for $50. Look up the brand. It's a very high-end Oh, lingerie brand maybe yeah lingerie I'd call it lingerie anyway so for 30 bucks I think I paid two dollars for it it's been in my closet for quite some time so I was really happy to see it go it's an old piece something I thought I'd never sell that I got in a denim box was a pair of these these are just this color jeans straight leg jeans they came in a denim box a year ago it's been sitting on the shelf and then they bundled it with these shoes. These are Lucky Brand. These are so cute. I really wish these were in my size. They look really comfortable. But this was a bundle. Happy to see this go, something I didn't think would sell. Not for a lot of money, but I bundled it with these for about $45. And I think I paid four in total for it, it would have been my cost. So not a lot, not a huge profit. Something else that's been in my closet forever is this really pretty belt. It's a fossil belt with this whip stitch detailing. Um, it's been in my closet since 2021. Actually, this month, three years ago. So it took three years for this to sell and it sold for $40. I paid five for it. A pair of Prana shorts. I've had these for two years. I got four pair of them. This is the last of them. Prana shorts. This cute little pair of lady shorts. Those sold. Um, I think I got them for a buck too, sold them for $25, so like 19 is my, my overall profit. Um, yeah, this is really ugly, and I don't know why I have it in my closet, but it's been in there for a long time. It's Susan Graver, and I will say, do not sleep on this brand. This sells at QVC, but there are people looking for this, and I, I know I sell a Susan Graver piece at least once a week, um, but this is a little outdated. It's a 1X. It's been in my closet for a while. Um, it's just got the two little buttons on it. It sold for $30, um, but it's been in the closet for two years. So happy to see that go. And this, um, I remember early on people saying, you have to have pieces for everybody. So I bought these maternity clothes and I haven't sold a single one in four years until yesterday. And I sold this pair of new with tags, tan pull on maternity pants with the tags on them. Um, I sold them for 25 and the tag says they were only originally 30 bucks, um, but they bought them for my full asking price. They're a nice, nice quality piece. Looks like they'll go with everything, a little bit of a boot cut. So some very cute expecting mommy will be wearing these and I'm so happy to see these go. Three plus years in my closet. Uh, the next thing is something that I bought recently. It is a J. Jill, just a very lightweight spring peachy sweater. It's a linen blend. Um, this sold in a bundle with this new with tags Bonworth top. Um, this isn't something that I sought out, but it was new with tags. Ta -da. I believe I got it at the bins for like a dollar twenty-five, and this was a dollar. So we're looking at two fifty total, and I sold the whole bundle for forty-five dollars. So you got your twenty percent platform fees and and that, and I made I made about thirty bucks and something old and icky and something new and full price. Great. Old shirt here from the brand Voyager, new with tags, extra XL. It's just a short sleeve button up that I've had in my closet again, three years and it's suddenly sold today. I don't know what, I don't know why, but there it is. Then we have this, I like this piece. This is a newer piece I listed. It went for my asking price. It is a J. Jill sweater. It's very loose knits. He's nice spring colors, nice tunic. Perfect for the upcoming spring season. Really like this, very soft. This is a nice piece, so I was happy that somebody's gonna get some use out of that and that I still made a healthy profit on it. This has been in my closet for three years too. This is a Talbot sleeveless women's top with these little embroidery details. 
and this piece sold for $15 and that's my lowest price point that I sell anything for and someone made an offer and I was quick to accept it so and it's petite and that's a hard size to sell and I don't pick them up anymore unless I absolutely have to uh this has been in my closet for two years it is a jm collection pair of women's plus size pants with anchors on them the anchors are embroidered these are very cute something i will say like with this pattern that you see this this usually does well very early in the spring lots of brands but i will tell you any pair of pants that you buy from polo ralph lauren that has any kind of crest on it anchors on it apples on it whatever's on it if it's all over the pant they're gonna sell pick those up pick those up i guarantee they will sell they are such a hot item so just keep that in mind um let's see this is another t-shirt uh they made an offer for 15 i took it it's a vans t-shirt nothing special again in the closet for three years three years my god a recent thing i listed these are some Nike ladies climate troll, climate, climate troll pants. I am probably mispronouncing that, but you know what I'm saying? There's the sweet stripes. Um, these are an extra, extra large and they're listed as a women's size 20, 22. So they are a plus size. They're in excellent shape and they sold for $25. I think I paid three for these. This is also a recent listing. Um, this is a dress that's been in my closet for three years. You got it. Um, this is the brand Lavender Brown. Now, when I got this and listed it, this brand was doing really well. This is all velvet, like open sheer fabric here, bell sleeves, and it is a cute, cute mini dress. So boho, really cute. I could see this with a pair of boots and a hat, like that, the big hat. If you haven't seen that video or that skit from SNL, look at the dumb big hat video or stupid big hat video. You can look it up. It's cute. Um, but this would go great with that kind of hat and a pair of boots. So I'm surprised this, this didn't sell earlier on because I thought it was really pretty compared to a lot of the ones that were going. But again, three years, um, I sold it for $30. It's a lot less than what I really wanted to sell it for, but I still made, I want to say maybe $10 after everything, but old piece and it's out the door. The last piece I have that sold yesterday is my only sale from eBay yesterday. All the rest were Poshmark. Um, this is a vintage Guinness Dublin wool v-neck sweater. And this person is an international sale because I know it was a hefty price and I looked at the label. Um, I'm like, Ooh, okay, that's a lot of money for shipping, but um, off it goes. If you're not using pirate ship, I'm mentioning this only because that's what I'm going to use to ship this because you can make money off of shipping if you from eBay and I think another one of the platforms. You have to use the ones Poshmark gives you, but definitely look into Pirate Ship. It's free, it's easy, and um, I want to say at the end of the year, I made about like $680 back on shipping from last year by using Pirate Ship instead of buying all of my labels from um eBay. Now, I will if they're like local, but if they're going from like I'm in Virginia, if they're going across the country there's money to be made in your shipping. So please look into Pirate Ship, do yourself a favor, not sponsored. It's just a really good tool to use and it's super, super easy. Plug it into my roller printer and whoop, there they go. I just have to remember to plug in the um, the tracking number because you do have to enter that, but that's, that's the only thing you have to do. So that's my little tip of the day. Um, I'm trying to get some consistency on this channel and ideally what I want to do is over the weekend just do a what sold this weekend video on Mondays. Um, I have another job so I'm home Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday so ideally I want to do a video on Friday and I want to do one on Mondays. I don't want to do this kind of video on Friday. I want to do different themes. If you have things that you're curious about that you want to know about or that you want to see, I love to make videos that will actually help you. So please let me know. Please like and subscribe. Please share this. I would really like to boost my subscriber numbers and I want to like mold my channel. Um, what you don't like about it, what you don't like about me, anything that you can provide, any kind of feedback I'm really curious to have. So please down there, drop that. And I'm hoping we can only get better with your comments. So with that said, I hope you stay thrifty, my friends, and I will see you in Monday's video. Have a great weekend.